Yo, what is up guys? It is me, Strange89. And two videos for the price of one. Wow, I've already created another video already, so it's it's more active than usual than my original channel. Lol than my anime game freak one. But anywho, um it's two thirty three AM in the morning and you're thinking, why the hell are you making this video now at this time? So that way I could just get over with and then, you know, I don't have to do it like tomorrow and hold up my time and blah 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 crap like that. And you know how it is. Anyhow, enough about that. I am here to today have a little unboxing video. This actually came and I called this. It was gonna come as soon as I made my update video on my manga update, but apparently it came in as soon as I freaking left to my job. I checked the mail before I left. I'm like, wait. Maybe by now the mail was here and the mail was there and guess what I saw? Yep, that movie came into my packaging today and I was super duper excited. Right stuff is amazing. They're on the ball right now. It only took about like three days to get to my house, which wasn't so bad. So I was like, well, Target did have it, but they didn't have the Blu-ray. They only had the DVD one. So I was like, eh, fuck, I'd rather have the Blu-ray because, you know, I got that PS3 over there, man, behind, you know, know what I'm saying? You know, that HD greatness. So I got the Blu-ray version to that. So that's going to be pretty awesome. I mean, other times I don't collect Blu-rays. I mean, I, I don't mind DVDs like most of the times. That, but Blu-rays, when it comes to this, it's definitely worth it more on Blu-ray. So I was like, you know what? Why not? And on Red Stuff, this only cost me, because of my membership, it only cost me 20 bucks, you guys. $20 on Red Stuff, which was a pretty good deal. Very great deal. Only 20 bucks. Well, a little bit plus tax, but whatever. Still pretty damn dirt cheap. Uh, pretty good. That, again, it's an anime movie, so what do you expect? Anime movies are pretty cheaper than sometimes the actual complete series, so that makes sense. So, yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. Here it is, the one and only movie that I wish I could have saw in theaters, which would have been nice, but Farter, Farter Jersey was playing this shit, and it, I mean, it was in my state, but it was way further down, like, in my state, so definitely didn't have time to see it, and in New York, forget it, with train schedules, it was pretty hard, but now I finally got it, but with the extended 20 minutes. So now I have the complete full movie with nothing cut out at all, which is awesome. And of course, I'm talking about the one and only Dragon Ball. Dark Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z, Battle of Gods. Yes, people, the movie we've all been waiting for, the Kanal Dub from Funimation, which we're very scared because we thought this was never going to come out here in, in the land of America. Well... You're thinking, how is this not going to come out to America? It's fucking Dragon Ball. Well, because guess who owns it at the bottom? Yeah, 20th Century Fox. So we're thinking, ah, oh, fuck. So we're screwed. We're probably not going to get this movie here. But apparently Funimation had worked their ass off to beg for them to get this licensing of the movie. And bam, we made it. <laughs> we made it. I don't want to say the other thing because, you know, hey, I'm white. Don't want to get targeted like someone did in my last video. Just saying. I'm just going to say... We made it! <laughs> yeah, so anyways, Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods, DVD Blu-ray combo pack with the extended 20 minutes, you guys, which means that the original version was about minus the 20 minutes, maybe only like an hour and a half. Yeah, it was only like an hour and a half. Like, the original was an hour and a half. This is like an hour and 45 minutes. No, I can't be right. No, the other one was an hour and 25. It was an hour and 25 minutes for the original, so it wasn't really that long of a movie to begin with. Only like 120, uh, an hour and 25 minutes. While extending it more would be calculating that, yeah, so it's an hour and 45 minutes. So making it longer than the original cut, which is great, which I don't mind because, hey, the longer the better. Oh, wow, that sounded, <laughs> that sounded so homo. I apologize. But anyways, enough of the front. Here's the back. Super Saiyan God Goku. It's got a... All those scenes from the movie. Greatness, man. I did see this back in Japanese only a year ago, just last year, but not the best translation. So I'm like, eh, fuck it. I'm going with the Funimation dub because when it comes to Dragon Ball Z, I gotta have that Funimation dub. Sorry, but as much as I love anime in Japanese subbing most of the time, well, granted, I do like most dubs, like if it comes from some great actors, like depending how the dub is handled, either from Funimation, Viz, etc. But when it comes to Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z, it's always got to be Funimation. I'm sorry. I'm not a big fan of the 
Japanese guys. I know I'm gonna get sued for that, but I'm just not. Especially Goku. Oh my god. I hate Goku's Japanese voice actress, I should say. Not actor. Actress. Because it pisses me off how the way she's made. God, man. It's like annoying. It's like, ugh, I can't stand it. I mean, the other voices are fine. Don't get me wrong. Actually, the, Jap the Japanese dub is so bad with the other characters. And fuck, I need my good knife to open this. God, it's gonna take me all day. Come on. Just a little bitch. Come on. Oh, fuck. My finger. I need longer nails. Hold on one sec. I need a uh, better knife for this. Fingers aren't gonna do it today. So, fuck it, get my knife out. There we go. Found myself an opening here. Okay, we are back. Found myself an awesome opening. Here we go, Mike. So it's unboxing time. The Rage Stop Super Saiyan style. Yeah, there we go. Not careful. Don't wanna damage the packaging. There we go. Now let's take a look at the inside. And not too bad. Pretty cool. I like the whole shining extra space discs. Pretty cool. I don't know why we get... Oh, yeah, because they can't fit all the extras on the DVD, so they put two discs for the DVD, and only one disc to fit it all on the greatness, which is HD on Blu-ray. And as you can tell from here, there's a reversible cover, which is a... Uh, hold on, let me take out the Blu-ray. I think it's in here. One sec. Um, yep, there it is. See a Dragon Ball? Shame, I wish it was the four star, you know, it would fit better, but I think it's only one star in there, which is kind of stupid, but, oh well, whatever. So, the reversible cover, it's not too bad, I guess, but I think I'm just going to keep the original cover more, because I think it just looks more awesome. I like the original cover anyway, when I saw it for the casing for the original printing, so I'm just saying. So, yeah, that's about it. So, I'm going to rewatch this awesomeness, not now, because it's late at night. But uh, I'm going to rewatch this awesomeness uh, probably tomorrow or Sunday-ish around there. Uh, because I've seen this again in Japanese, but I never saw the extended version with the awesome English dubbing cast. Because I love the Funimation cast a lot. They've improved. Ever since Dragon Ball Kai, they've improved a lot over the years. They've done a fantastic job with Kai. And I definitely cannot wait to see how they're going to do with this movie. Speaking of Kai, hopefully the Manja Buu saga comes out soon, because it's down in Japan pretty far, so let's just see hopefully America gets it soon, because I can finally own the definitive version, filler free and better voice acting, which is like awesome, but the original script, so that I can't wait for it too, but anyways, yeah, that's technically it, so leave your thoughts in the comment section down below if you're going to be picking this up, and if you have seen it, tell me your thoughts on Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods. Until then, guys, that's basically it. So thank you for watching. This is Straw High Ninja 89 or Renouncing the Bounce. Peace out. Anime manga fans, keep supporting what you read and what you watch. And Kamehameha. <laughs> yeah, that was a lame way to end it, but whatever. Definitely cannot wait. Oh, by the way, before I go, uh, stay tuned for my review on Anime Game Freak 89. For the review of Film Z, I just watched it uh, just about almost a week ago. So I'm going to do a review, a full review on Film Z, which I already did. And also recently now with Battle of Gods, since it's the newest thing right now. So I'm going to be reviewing that. And also Rainbow Rocks, when that comes out in the middle of the month. I saw a lot of movies to review pretty much this month, anime movie-wise. Uh, same with Band... Oh, fuck. And Bandana comes out, I forgot. So that's going to be best on video game. But that's going to be last, though. But that's going to be fun. Uh, so, yeah. So definitely, yeah. And stay tuned for all my other work. So, see. <laughs>